Hey y'all, today I have Bethany Shadburn here in the kitchen. Hi. Say hi Bethany. Um, so what's your claim to fame? Why are you here? Uh, CrossFit Games made that uh, made it this year, <laughs> the CrossFit Games. So yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Got so, some special. <laughs> we love her. She uh, she does she works with us and we love cooking with her too. So um, how good of a cook would you say you are? Oh, like um, zero to ten, like a two. <laughs> like it's not good at all. <laughs> Which is actually really great because she's gonna be doing the cooking today. I'm gonna walk her through. Don't worry about it. It's I gonna got be you. bad. I got <laughs> you. <Just kidding>. <laughs> and the fun thing is, is this dish specifically that we're doing is one that seems really complicated, and so you might look at it and be like, oh my god, I could never do that. But you're gonna find, and you guys are gonna find, that this dish is way easier than you think it is. Okay, good. Okay. All right, Oof. let's get cooking. Stressing. <laughs> First, preheat the oven to 425. Place the carrots, garlic cloves, and onions on a foil-lined baking sheet. Drizzle some oil over the vegetables and sprinkle with salt. Then you're gonna roast the veggies in the oven for about 20 minutes. While the veggies are roasting, heat up some fat, oil typically. You could use a little butter if you like. You're gonna do that in a pan over a medium-high heat. Once the fat is hot, sear the scallops in the pan for three to four minutes per side or at least to what doneness you like. A little longer, maybe. You may need to cook the scallops in two patches, depending on how many you have, and the second batch will probably cook faster than the first, just because the temp will be higher. You're gonna remove the scallops when they're done cooking, cover with foil, just to keep them warm. Then turn the heat down on the pan in which you cook the scallops. Now you're gonna pour in the juice from one lemon, chicken stock, and thyme in that pan. You're gonna create some steam, so be careful. Then you're gonna use a wooden spoon to loosen up all of the stuff from the bottom of the pan. It's called deglazing, it's a technical term. Then you're gonna simmer, simmer that liquid for about five minutes and then keep it on low until you're ready to use it. Once the carrots are done, you're gonna place the carrots, onion, garlic, and about 10 to 20 tablespoons of the liquid in a bowl and use an immersion blender to make it all smooth. You can use a food processor if you like. I love the immersion blender. <laughs> then you're gonna place those scallops back in the pan with the sauce and coat them with the liquid. Place one big dollop or two of that veggie puree in a bowl and spoon some of those scallops over. Top with some of that sauce, sprinkle with salt, and dig in. Just that puree, see how that puree turned out. Mm. Ooh. You did a good job with that. Ooh, that's good. 